This is the most fun I've had in a long time. <sighs> this is fantastic. I am approximately 1,300 kilometers from the North Pole. Joining me on this trip is my father, Oven, and we have traveled to Svalbard, or Spitsbergen's main city, Longyearbyen, to visit an old friend, Armstein, who is going to be stationed out here for six months. Armstein will also be functioning as our guide in this Arctic paradise for the next few days. I can still remember sitting on that plane, looking out that window and thinking about what adventures that lie ahead. What would I discover and would I be able to capture it? We finally arrived and even though it's in the middle of the night it's much brighter than when we left Oslo and that's because the Sun doesn't actually set here now it doesn't get dark so right now we're just waiting for our luggage and in the meantime I'm just looking how far it is to Mexico City or London <laughs> Today it's about minus five, six degrees, I think. It's almost no wind. And there are small glimpses of the sun. And yeah, today we're gonna rent a snowmobile and go head up to a glacier and actually head under it to explore some ice caves. So that is definitely not on my everyday to-do list. So this is gonna be interesting. So all this are necessary snowmobile equipment in order to not freeze we're almost ready to go but we're missing a shotgun so we have to locate a shotgun before we're heading out and when that's settled we're gonna explore those ice caves are you ready guide yes how far is it not so far are you ready pilot I'm scared to death
Oi. It's completely dark down here and outside the storm is howling. I'm not sure if you can see me or hear me and I found so many nice compositions but my first one is gonna be this and uh, I have no idea how to <laughs> proceed. Look at this. That's, that's how it is. So we need to think outside of the box here. So here's what I did. I put one torchlight there, illuminating this wall. And we had one torchlight behind here, illuminating this wall and also this line here. And the camera is there in the darkness, shooting in, in horizontal for a change. These lines here, we're gonna, we can see the gravel go here and kind of has this bendy curve here, which is incredible. And it goes all the way in. And up here, you can't see this, but we have the same thing that's going that on down here, up there. It's magnificent. So that's my plan. So I'm using my wide angle lens. I'm shooting it f4 and two second shutter. Not sure if it will work, but we're gonna give it a go. So the first image of the day has been captured. Enjoy. <laughs> But this is one of the most incredible places I've ever been. It's really, really moody and there are wonderful lines everywhere. The ice kind of grabs hold of the gravel and slides it along the walls, creating these wonderful lines. And I'm just using this torchlight to paint the ice as I'm doing 15 seconds exposures four second exposures, three seconds exposures using the wide angle lens and it works really really well. Only problem is that it's almost impossible to pinpoint the focus but I'm doing my best. How far down are we, lads? 50 meters. So this is the end of the line. Beyond this point, there is nothing but darkness. Back at the surface, we realized that the weather conditions had taken a turn for the worse. The locals like to call this a whiteout. With zero visibility, the way back went slowly. We 
decided not to take any more photographs that day, but I really couldn't help myself for one final image overlooking Longyearbyen from the glacier. Although it was pretty hard to see the city, I think it turned out pretty okay. Safely back at the camp, me and my father saw through the footage. Let's hear what I say about it. It looks pretty good. So far, so good. It was challenging conditions, uh, photographing in uh, pitch dark conditions where you had to use your torchlight to kind of paint the light on the wall and trying to find focus was almost impossible, but it worked out and I'm pretty satisfied with the results. Um, so I'm looking forward to get back to work on it. So day one is completed. Tomorrow the forecast is much better. They have reported sun and lots of it. So we're gonna rent a snowmobile and we're gonna drive up Adventalm and locate a frozen waterfall. And then we're gonna drive through Sassendalen down to Tempelfjorden and towards Von Postbren, which is another glacier. And in that area, the local authorities have reported there are two polar bears lurking around. So if we're lucky, we'll find those. So if you're interested to see how that trip went, you should check back on this channel next Thursday where I upload uh, day two of this little adventure. Yeah, thank you for watching and uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate that and I appreciate every single comment you offer. That's me, that's us done for the day and uh, a good day and now we're gonna eat and uh, take care of each other and we'll see you in about a week. Before I forget, if you want to hear more from my visit to Spitsbergen before the next episode next Thursday, I'm scheduled to be on Hike or Dice Outdoor Adventure Podcast. These Aussie lads run a pretty neat YouTube channel focusing on adventure and hikes. I'll leave a link on screen. Not sure when the podcast airs, but I'll let you know in advance on my Instagram page, so follow me there for more updates. Also consider following Hike or Dice Instagram page because I'm pretty sure they'll update when the episode airs as well. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in about a week. Cheers.